炭酸水にパクチー、ライム、蜂蜜を焦がしたカラメルを入れりゃコーラの完成だ Senku Cola, this is a throwback and it takes me back to childhood. How's it going, fellow foodies? Welcome back to another episode of Foodie Friday, the show where we bring anime and video game food to life. And yes, today we're taking a look at Dr. Stone. For this recipe, we're going to use some really nice, fresh limes, a little bit of local honey. You can use whatever honey you want for this, some fresh cilantro, and a little bit of carbonated water. Now, if you have something like a soda stream, you can make your own carbonated water and add this to it. But we're going to go the cheaper route and go ahead and just buy some of our Carbonated water, it's readily available. It's not worth really getting an entire machine just to try out this recipe. First thing we're gonna do is make sure we really wash this cilantro and chop it up before we get ready to muddle it. We really just want a size that's gonna be easy to work with in our mortar and pestle for when we start muddling it. I'm gonna go ahead and peel these limes with just a regular peeler before I chop them up because I don't have my microplane. If you're using this method, just make sure you don't capture too much of that white part, it's gonna make it kind of bitter. Then we're going to go ahead and chop this up really nicely, pop it into a bowl, and save it for later. And there's all of our lime zest. Now again, I just did a nice rough chop, just so that way it's going to be a little bit easier for us to muddle together. Now for the limes, I'm just going to go ahead and cut these guys in half. They seem really nice and juicy, so I'm going to go ahead and just juice these by hand. Feel free to use whatever you want. It ended up giving me a lot of lime juice, so we're going to use what we need and save the rest for later. Now we have our players set, it's going to be time to start muddling everything together. Now take equal parts of lime zest and cilantro and bring it together in your mortar and pestle and once you have something that looks about like this, a little bit of a paste, this is when we're going to start to add some of our lime juice. Now go ahead and start bringing this together with your lime juice, with your cilantro and your zest and once everything is said and done, this is actually going to start to look like something you rub on a wound before we're done with it. Take your mixture and put it in a separate container so we can use this later. So now the thing about cooking honey is that it can caramelize and burn very quickly. That's why I didn't really start this while I was doing everything else, just so I wouldn't take my eyes off of it. When you cook honey, you drastically change the flavor and the color and the properties of it. So cook this to how far you feel you would really want. I'm going to only cook this for about two minutes after it reaches a simmer. The flavor is going to go from a really sweet, fresh honey to a little bit of a nuttiness to it, which is going to increase the overall flavor of the cola. I'm going to go ahead and add my honey to the pot and bring it to a simmer, allowing it to simmer for about two minutes before I turn it off to let it cool. Once your honey is nice and caramelized and it has a nice color to it, we're going to remove it and put it into a separate container to use when we're ready to mix our drink. Now we have our beautiful honey nice and caramelized, we have our cilantro and our lime mixture, and then we have a bit of extra lime juice just in case we need it. If anyone has uh, Andrew Reyes binging with Babish's number, um, tell him I need a tiny whisk and uh, I, I'm, I'm open to accept one of his. Now I'm not really measuring this, but I'm going to start with my honey first, and then I'm going to add my cilantro and my lime mixture, and then add a bit more lemon juice to really start to thin it out to bring everything together. And if you feel like you want to add more, just add more, you won't hurt my feelings. So now we have our base. We're going to go ahead and strain this directly into our soda. guys, the Senku Cola. Lime, cilantro, a little bit of caramelized honey, and some soda water. It's super easy to make. This doesn't take a long time, and what's really cool is that you can keep all that stuff in the fridge for whenever you want to make one. Now, uh, one final taste test. That's, that's pretty damn good. Wow, okay. You get a lot of the really nice caramelized flavors from the honey, but then you get this really nice refreshing pop from the lime, the cilantro, and the zest. I feel like this would go really good with alcohol. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so, that's so good with whiskey. But Senku Cola, it's pretty delicious. Plus one for team science. What's your favorite nostalgic drink? Honestly, one of mine is just really good cream soda. Let me know in the comments down below. My name is Chef PK here on Foodie Friday, bringing anime and video game food to life. Get subscribed and remember, keep playing with your food. I'm gonna put some more whiskey in this one. It is Sunday, I don't have to do nothing.